Hi Paul, it's great to meet you in person. I think we met briefly last time. Yeah. So tell me about your background as a therapist and uh, how it's your work currently. Yes, yeah, so I'm a physio for over 20 years and I'm currently doing my PhD in tendinopathy and part-time clinical work still. So I'm half-time regular clinical duties and half-time PhD and a few other things. So, yeah. so you've got a bit of experience with tendinopathy and I believe you've been using Shockwave prior for a year or more. So how, mm -hmm. how are you finding that so far? Yeah, we've been using the shockwave for about a year and a half now, and we're trying to do some research on it. We didn't want to start just using it blanketly on everybody, but mm -hmm. we tried to design a few little algorithms and use proper outcome measures. And um, we've definitely found that it's been an adjunct to our service. Along with your patients. Yeah, in addition to loading programs and advice, adding the shockwave is a great adjunct. And I'm just happy to have something to offer patients other than. And then just asking for What's your personal experience? You found useful elements. Uh, was it useful for a particular condition more? What's the what you've gained over time from um, your personal experience? The con two conditions seen an absolute definite improvement is um, plantar fascia and gluteal tendinopathy, lateral hip pain. And um, some insertional, we've seen about maybe 15 insertionals, and we're looking at them. We haven't used it in anybody for mid portion Achilles because they're all going into my trial, so mm -hmm. maybe we'll look at that afterwards. Um, and classific rotator cuff tendinopathy and some, sh and some frozen shoulders, but they're smaller numbers. But the plantar fascia and the glute. And you also have concurrent rehab with them, I believe. Yeah? Always with concurrent. It's not a standalone treatment. Right. Everybody, we sell it as that they have a loading program and that the shockwave is an adjunct to, to it. So it's almost like we try to almost say this is our pain relieving treatment and our exercise and loading is our kind of restoration of capacity. And, and how do you monitor their uh, improvement? Like, uh, These outcome measures, so for lateral hip BCGs mm -hmm. and also BAS, and then clinical examination for plantar fascia, we use a functional foot index, and clinical examination for insertion of Achilles, we use a visa A sedentary or a visa A if they're active. So we use reliable oh. valid outcome measures. Yeah. And you follow them up to three months? At least three months. So we see them either at four, eight, and 12 weeks, or some at six and 12. Yeah. And then we don't always see them long-term follow-up because it's, not, it's not a it's not a trial we're doing. We're trying to embed yeah. the research into our yeah. clinical practice. But yeah. it's been easy to do. So it's a very short evening lecture we did. You know, mm -hmm. uh, So I'm sure you're aware of more, many of the concepts. So uh, what sort of things that you found was useful for you uh, going back? Well, for me, mainly because there's not many people in Ireland using Shockwave that I can talk to. So it's, for me, it's coming in to see like somebody like yourself who's experienced using it for a long time to get reassurance that I'm not doing something blazingly different from everybody else. So that was the main thing, reassurance that I'm kind of doing something similar, offering it as a package alongside loading as opposed to just a standalone treatment. And then you're just going, you know. Yeah. And going forward, would you think that might influence any part of your, uh, you know, uh, clinical practice? Would you sort of explore other areas or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, when you do a PhD, you, you, you come up with more ideas, so I can definitely see yeah, some more research coming that I'll be doing with, yeah. the, with the shock wave. Oh, yeah. So the final word, like somebody, you know, thinking of, you know, because obviously everything is evidence-based, we want to encourage that, mm -hmm. thinking of shock wave and tender the setting, you know, what would be sort of your, uh, you know, key uh, message to them? I think just have a read of some of the research and if it's convincing for you, get in touch with somebody who maybe has used it, get yeah. their experience. And then it comes down to budget and talking to the mm -hmm. powers of be. But I think it's definitely worth it's for me who specialise in soft tissues and tendons like plantar fascia and a lot of tendinopathies. And if I want to have a, a specialty center, I think Shockwave has definitely allowed me to offer something extra in addition to just loading and advice, which is normally So that's routine package. treatment now for you. Routine treatment, well like yeah, part of your it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a niche treatment, it's definitely something that we would now do routinely and probably more so based on what we've seen the outcomes. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Paul. Yeah. Hope to see you soon. Yeah. See you.